Okay, this tutorial is going to concentrate on a, something called Match EQ, which is used in Logic. And this is a nice, really nice EQ feature. Uh, takes a little bit of tweaking, but it it's, uh, works pretty well. Uh, the idea here is I have two tracks up here. I have something that I composed called Dark Warrior. It's a classical piece. And then I have another track here, which is actually an Apple Loop. Okay, which I, I really like the EQ on this. And I want to copy the EQ on this that the Apple engineers did onto my Dark Warrior. And you can do this with any audio track. It doesn't have to be a loop necessarily. I just want to do this for the sake of brevity. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Dark Warrior because this is the track that I want to apply the, the EQ from the Apple loop to. And I'm going to go up to the Inserts menu and I'm going to go to EQ and I'm going to go to something called Match EQ Stereo because it's a stereo track. And this looks fairly familiar. You've been dealing with this. <coughs> Excuse me, except you got the match EQ down here. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to create a template right here, and I want to tell uh, the EQ to learn uh, the strategy uh, strings EQ. So, if you hold down the control key and click on learn, in this case, I'm going to select an audio file. So, I'm going to say generate template spectrum from audio file. So, I click on the desktop and here I have my strings EQ AIF that's the audio file I want to use so I go open and now it creates a um, template of that audio file so you can see what's happening as far as uh, frequencies and, and how that has been um, developed so next thing I want to do is I want to learn or uh, apply this to my dark warrior so next thing I'm going to do is control click on the current learn because Dark Warrior is my current file, and I'm going to say generate current material spectrum from audio file. So this will give Apple two files to compare. So now I'm going to select my current one, which is Dark Warrior. I'm going to go open. And now it has created a frequency spectrum for my composition. Now I want to match these together. So I want to take the strategy strings apply to my Dark Warrior. So they're going to match. It's going to keep some of mine, some of the Apple, and, and sort of take the best of both worlds. So I just click on match right here. And notice that I now have a frequency spectrum. And if you'll notice, one thing you'll notice is Apple deals with just numbers, not with music. So this isn't a very musical um, frequency spectrum. In fact, if I were to play this, it would sound not very good. So they have a thing called down here called smoothing. So I'm going to smooth this out as much as possible. And you could change this. I'm going to smooth this all the way out. And you notice that in this case, um, Apple has applied a lot of, of cuts and boosts. You really don't want that much. So you have an apply button right here. And I'm going to smooth this out too, so it's not so quite so harsh. Now if I play my Dark Warrior track, it's hard to hear on these speakers, but it's starting to sound, it'll sound a lot like the Strategy Strings EQ. And I can actually change the Apply button to make it more. I'll do that. Now if I want to bypass this and compare, and by tweaking with these two attributes right here, the Apply and the Smoothing, you can start to get a feel for making these two tracks pretty similar. So there's Dark Warrior, and here's the original Apple Loops. Again, you're not going to be able to tell. And as far as the EQ, it's pretty similar. Hard to tell these speakers, the uh, stereo speakers. And you can do this with any audio file, um, and then just use the bypass to comp compare, tweak the tweak the, the parameters until you get a matching EQ. It's not perfect, but it's a good starting place. So um, hopefully this helped.